Hello, it's your boy Raheem and welcome to this next video. In this video, I'm going to share how to invest in properties during boom, bust cycle. When the property prices goes up, goes down, or even when it goes sideways, because it's very important for you to invest and make money no matter how the property market swing because you want to have that experience because these are the times you could make ridiculous amount of money but at the same time these are the times lots of investors lose money okay very important for you to learn this again if this video is going to be really really helpful to you so you have i'd like you to stick until the end so you can learn on how you could actually invest in properties during these cycles because especially now with covid property prices are really really high you need to know really what you need to do for you to be able to invest um, passively and also be able to get properties below market value so you can get most of your returns as quickly as possible to move on to another property. So the first thing we need to consider basically is invest in passive income properties right you have to have a target you have to have a minimum net profit to set for a properties that you want to invest in but before you set sale you say okay now this is the property market i'm looking at this is the area i'm looking at and this is the minimum profit margin i need to achieve per property before i buy that property right some of the investors have 300 to about 500 pounds target so I, so I recommend you get a minimum of 300 pounds per buy to let net profit before you even consider investing in that area what do i mean by that 300 pounds is basically your rent less all your expenses the net profit should be 300 pounds before that investment becomes a sound investment like i would also talk about which properties what sort of properties you need to be investing in to make a minimum of 300 pounds net cash flow so again if it doesn't hit that figure but you might as well walk away so it's very important for you to have that because that would protect you nicely when property prices goes up or when interest rate goes up or when the property market goes sideways the second thing also is buying properties at discount i've been emphasizing this so many videos that it's, it's so important you buy properties at discount you make money the time you buy the properties not when you sell you know for example if you're buying a hundred thousand pounds property even if you bought that property at ninety five thousand pounds you've already made five thousand pounds okay if you had ten percent discount you bought it at ninety thousand you've made ten thousand pounds fifteen percent you bought it at eighty five thousand you've made fifteen thousand pounds twenty percent discount you've made twenty thousand pounds okay because you bought that property at eighty thousand pounds twenty five percent below market value you would have bought that property at seventy five thousand and that bags you twenty five thousand pounds discount basically you made money from the day you buy the property i cannot emphasize enough how important it is 99 percent of my property deals all these are bought this way if i'm not if i'm not buying the properties at discount i don't buy them because big properties are my business okay i'm not there to impress or literally compete with someone else it has to work for me and my buyer before i i, I buy it okay and again always always try to get discount in your property deals and also buying that discount also helps you because it gets you to pay a lower mortgage interest if you buy a hundred thousand pounds property for seventy five thousand pounds you do the maths your mortgage interest would be less as well so basically you're not just saving on the money you've made at discount you're also saving on your interest rate because the interest will be based on the seventy five thousand um uh, 75 percent of that seventy five thousand, basically so and again it's a lower interest rate it saves you a ridiculous amount of money i cannot emphasize enough how important it is to buy a discount don't go don't go in buying properties that let people know you are desperate and you want to buy the property desperately want to buy that property no go in as if you have so many options so many alternatives so you can bag yourself a discounted property the other thing you need to consider also is to automate your business okay automate it you cannot do everything right you just cannot buy all the properties yourself and obviously you cannot do everything in properties make sure you have a power team what do I mean by power team? I'm talking about expert team. Maybe get a good solicitor, get a good mortgage broker, get a good accountant, get a good builder, get a good handyman because you cannot do everything yourself. Even if you can't, you can't because obviously there's so many, so many gestures that 
that goes into buying a property because if you have these things you'll be able to automate say for example you saw a property in Newcastle and you want to buy that property you don't physically need to go and view that property if you have someone there they can go and view that property for you and then what you do you pick the phone up you tell your solicitor send them an email say you're interested in buying XYZ property and this is the address the solicitor goes to work and then you do the same thing to a mortgage broker you ring them up tell them you've got a property you want to buy it they go out there and look for the best uh, mortgage is for you again you have to have this power team it needs to be reliable people that you could work with not just one of people that you can work with for a very very long time maintain that sustainable relationship and again I warn you here don't literally look for cheap professionals okay cheap you get the result okay you need it's important for you to get people that are reasonable that you can build relationships sometimes the price is not a problem if they can deliver the service for you or or, or or can expedite whatever you want to do it's better to pay the price and again all that would be part of your investment appraisals anyway so again very very important to automate your business to ensure it works with you and we and without you once you bought these properties also make sure you got your agent agent ready your your they, they're going to vet the tenant for you make sure everything is done professionally before you even consider buying another property the other thing also you need to consider is buying properties that you could add value to the benefit of buying properties you can add value to is one you're going to buy them at discount and secondly you can you can add value you, you can force the appreciation you can force the capital appreciation in the property. Suppose you bought a dilapidated building and needs to be renovated. Maybe you want to add another room in there. Maybe you want to add an office. May extend the property. May do a loft conversion. So you're forcing that value because you're you're adding more space in the property. You're modernizing that property because looking at the market now, buying a property, do a quick of the doing a quick TLC, maybe getting a new kitchen, a new bathroom, painting and decorating the property will not get you to pull your investment out, okay? You have to go a bit more for you to be able to pull some or all of your investment by maybe having a loft conversion, having an extension done at the back of the property, or maybe extending it by having a garage, whatever it is, but you have to do that bit of work for you to be able to pull that investment out because the market right now is ridiculously high, so you need to be thinking outside of the box so you'll be able to recycle all your investments. Say you bought a property, it's a potential to do it as a HMO in that area. So instead of doing it as a normal buy to let, convert it into a HMO, maybe into four or five bedroom HMO. So what you then, you will force the appreciation in that property. At the same time, would have forced your cash flow as well. Because what would have happened, you would have rent that property room by room basis, which then allows you to get a big and massive net cash flow. And again, if this video is making sense to you, hit the share button so you can share it with friends and families. And this also helped the algorithm of this video pushes it up so people would also, people who are interested in investing in properties would be able to see this property um, video and learn from it. The other thing also you need to consider when, when you're buying properties during boom, bust, or when the properties are going sideways is buying a property near bigger cities. Okay, very important. For you to know this don't buy properties i advise you actually i'm not going to impose this on you i advise you not to buy properties in the big cities right very simple reason why i do this is because i want to have i want to have more juice in my property investment rather than just buying properties in big cities i know some people like to do that i don't like i personally don't like to do that but what i do i look at the towns villages near that big city and invest in those areas i give you two reasons why i do that suppose we're investing in birmingham okay house average house price in birmingham is about two hundred and fifty thousand pounds okay you can, if you've got you can get a two hundred and fifty thousand pounds property you can buy it and you can rent it for about one thousand one hundred to about one thousand two hundred pounds and that is a monthly rental income you get from that two hundred and fifty thousand pounds property Alternatively, you can look for a smaller towns or villages near Birmingham where property prices are slightly lower. Suppose we want to invest in Dudley. The average house price in Dudley is about 115,000 to 125,000 pounds. So if you wanted to buy 250,000 pounds property, so that 250,000 pounds property will get you two properties in Dudley. Okay? 
this is this i hope this is making sense the 250,000 instead of buying one property in birmingham you can buy two properties in dudley and then in dudley each property can be rented for about 800 pounds okay 800 pounds is what you may be able to rent a three bedroom house in dudley so what you now do if you've got two properties that you've bought with the 250,000 pounds those two properties will generate you 1,600 pounds cash flow every month rental income okay whereas the property in birmingham is a big property 250,000 pounds got you one house and 1,200 1,100 pounds per month in your rent and if you look at the difference 1,600 minus 1,100 that's about 500 pounds difference okay it's a massive difference so instead of buying expensive properties in the city you can buy it in the surrounding area smaller city towns near the cities so you can make a bigger gigantic cash flow i've always been doing this and it's been absolutely amazing i've been advised not to share this for free but hey it is there for you you do this you implement it you will literally change your life and the good thing about it also if you buy those two properties when property prices goes up property prices goes up for both of the properties and it might not be exactly the same value that property may go up by 7.5 percent and the other one may go up by 10 percent so you you do the maths that gives you a better capital appreciation whereas the property in birmingham is only one property if it goes up by five percent you've only got five percent increase 7.5 percent goes by only by 7.5 percent increase and also it's one property and and your cash flow is only 1100 pounds whereas for the other two properties in dudley they could go up in different value because they might not be exactly in the same area and also you've got 800 pounds per property that's 1600 pounds again that's how i buy my properties i don't buy them in the bigger cities i buy them in the smaller towns right near the big cities to bag me an amazing cash flow and capital appreciation and also the other thing you need to do when when buying properties in 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 the boom or or when the property market is going down the drain is leveraging okay leveraging is very important what do i mean by leveraging it's using other people's money it's called opm okay you can use the bank you can go and lend money borrow money from the bank you can do bridging loan you can approach investors investors could be anyone angel investors could be your, your partner your siblings your college friends your university friends your old work colleagues whatever they are these people could be an investors so find opportunities share the opportunities with them basically you're not begging them for the money right you're providing an opportunity for them some of them got money right they sat with that money getting 0.1 percent interest right and where you are providing an, an opportunity to get a five percent or eight percent return on their investment again Tell people about what you do, leverage the money, work with them, you know, put as minimum money on your deals as possible so you'll be able to get more deals, amazing deals, so that you'll be able to um, uh, recycle those money and move on to um, other project. And if some of those investors wants to join venture with you, meaning earning piece of that asset, do it. 100% of nothing is better than 50% of a shared sort of um, partnership so think about that that would also help you literally leverage your property in investment strategy will take you to the next level and, and and then also if you're buying properties if you're if you're in the market during the boom time okay put money aside for when the property market crash okay because once it goes up 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 and up there may be a sign that it's about to come down okay so, and again the hint also when people are selling properties is the time you buy okay you do the opposite when everybody's selling 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 that's the time you're going to buy because what that means there are more supplies and less demand and that then allows you to buy properties in bar uh, um, at bargain and also if everybody's buying everybody's buying it means there's less demand so what you do you sell if you wanted to sell okay you sell then and make your margin but what i do i don't like to sell my properties i don't sell my properties what i do if everybody's buying and buying and buying i look at the properties that i can remortgage okay i remortgage these properties at that higher rate because i know property price has gone up pull some of that investment out and go and buy more properties so i don't like to sell properties i know some people think i'm crazy but i don't like to sell my properties i like to take advantage of the of the higher property um uh, price um squeeze the juice on those properties to go and buy more investment 
properties. And also if people are saying the market is about to crash, it's time for you to set your guns, okay? The, 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 the signs that, are, that shows the property market is about to literally bust is basically the residential property market will slow down, right? People will start stop buying um, buy to let properties or people will stop buying homes. That's a sign. So you have to get your guns ready, get the money ready, for you to be able to buy um, properties for when the market goes down. And when wait until the property is at the bottom before you buy, okay? If you're thinking of doing that, wait. Don't wait until it just starts. Wait until it goes significantly down before you start investing. I had some of my coaches, that's what they did in 2008 when the property market crashed. They waited until literally it was rock bottom before they start buying properties. And again, I did the similar thing. When COVID just hit, when everything was in standstill, I was able to secure significantly below market property deals and those properties are all literally no money left in deals and I was able to recycle my money and move on to other property deals. So again, you have to know the market, you have to learn and understand when and how to buy properties. And again, I advise you to get a mentor, a coach to guide you along the way to ensure you minimize the mistakes you make. If this video has, has been helpful, really, really, I would appreciate if you could share this with, with friends and family. But yeah, you go out there, implement this with these things, regardless what the market condition is, you would always be able to bag yourself a bargain. Again, it's not a race, right? It's not a competition. You have your own pace. As long as today is better than yesterday and you're progressing, you're not procrastinating, you're doing absolutely amazing, okay? If this video has been helpful, don't forget to hit the like button below. Subscribe to my channel for more of these amazing tutorials. Thank you so much for listening. I look forward to sharing the next video.